Uh, before I call this meeting to order, I'd like, I'd like to note for the record that I will serve as acting chairman for this meeting. I would now call to order the meeting of the directors of the statewide local development corporation for April 16th. Oh, there you go. It's getting closer <laughs> now. Um, the directors have received the written materials in advance of this meeting and are free to ask questions at any time. We welcome public comment on agenda items uh, to ensure maximum opportunity for participation. Speakers representing themselves may speak up to two minutes. Those representing groups may speak up to four minutes. Uh, we would ask one speaker per group. Speakers' comments may only address the items being considered at today's meeting. Uh, before we begin with the substantive portion of today's meeting, I'm going to ask if anybody has a conflict or potential conflict, and we'll note for the record. I have none. None. All right. Hearing none, the first item on today's agenda is the minutes from the July 30th, 2018 Director's Meeting. Are there any questions, comments, deletions, or additions? If not, I would entertain a motion for approval. Motion. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. The motion carries. Uh, for the next item, I would call upon Ray Salabarios to present uh, a authorization to make a real estate loan with New York Job Development Authority proceeds to Mir Enterprises, LLC. Ray. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Good morning, everyone. Staff is seeking authorization to make a real estate loan with JDA proceeds in the amount of $4,400,000. The borrower in question will be Mir Enterprises, LLC, doing business as unique settings of New York. JDA Collateral will be a second lien on the real estate located at 47-09 36th Street in Long Island City. The property will be a renovated 20,000 square foot warehouse manufacturing facility. The appraised value of the real estate collateral is required to be no less than $11 million. Repayment of the JDA loan will be guaranteed by Mere Enterprises LLC, Thrive Holdings Inc., Evash Manufacturing Consulting Inc., Unique Acquisitions New York LLC, Unique Acquisitions Realty LLC, and Daniel and Michael DeBarcarov. Mir Enterprises owned 49% by Unique Acquisitions New York LLC and 51% Thrive Holdings Inc. Unique Acquisitions New York, Unique Acquisitions Realty are owned by Daniel DeBarcarov and Michael DeBarcarov, 50% each respectively. Thrive Holdings is owned by, is owned 100% by That's KGK. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Thrive Holdings owned 100% by KGK Group. Headquartered in Hong Kong, KGK is a vertically integrated leading multinational corporation with business ventures ranging from mining to realty, realty, retail jewelry sales to real estate development. With 12,000 employees, KGK Group operates in 17 countries and has revenues in excess of $1.5 billion annually. In 2016, KGK Group was voted the Outstanding Enterprise of the Year and currently is one of the top 500 businesses in the world. Mir Enterprise is a U.S.-based designer and manufacturer of bridal jewelry. Mir provides local jewelers with, and major wholesalers across the country with high-quality, competitively priced diamond and color stone jewelry. Mir is currently one of the largest jewelry manufacturers in the United States and all production is done 100% in-house except for raw materials. Interesting enough, fine jewelry sales in the United States were $63 billion in 2017. Mears has identified a property at 47-09 36th Street in Long Island City, a two-story, 20,000 square foot building. In addition to the manufacturing facility in Long Island City, the company currently rents a small showroom on 47th Street in Manhattan. A small portion of the newly acquired facility will be set aside for the showroom space, allowing Mir to consolidate its operations. The project will enable the company to increase production by creating a more efficient manufacturing cycle and floor plan, investing in the latest jewelry manufacturing machinery and equipment, and reduce its carbon footprint by investing in clean technology. Ultimately, this transition will allow operations to run more smoothly and in a more cost-effective manner. 
In addition to operational efficiencies, this project offers significant occupancy cost benefits for MIR. At present, high rent costs at the company's current facility are prohibitive. The project will allow MIR to acquire an important asset that is tailored to its operational needs and the projected debt service payments will reduce future occupancy costs by 18 percent. In conclusion, based on the 1B plus rating, MIR's historical cash flow from operations will be able to service the debt going forward with the projected debt service coverage ratio that meets the JDA's minimum standard of 1.2. MIR's financial projections are relatively conservative. There will be a significant reduction in occupancy costs following this acquisition as the implied debt service is lower than the current lease expense. JDA staff notes that manufacturers have been under sustained pressure in New York City and particularly in Long Island City due to rising real estate costs. This project offers an opportunity for JDA to assist a manufacturing company that pays its employee well and offers good benefits to remain in Long Island City, a distressed area. With the project, MIR expects to create at least 20 full-time permanent jobs within three years. Please note that People's Bank has issued a commitment letter for the total project cost exclusive of the JDA loan as required by the JDA statutes. On April 9th, on April 9th the, New York City adopt, the New York City IDA adopted a resolution offering $2.2 million in New York City and New York State benefits to the project. Both commitments are subject to the JDA approving the $4.4 million loan that is being requested at this time. Thank you, and I'll take any questions now. Thanks, Ray. Any questions or comments from the directors? Ray, you said we're getting um, personal guarantees from the two owners? Yes, owners? yes. Okay. Michael and Dave, Daniel. Um, Ray, do you have concerns about KGK as a foreign-owned entity in terms of a potential recovery in a default situation? Oh, uh, we, we discussed that among staff and with the bank, and the, the conclusion was because we're not really dealing with KGK, we are dealing with Thrive Holding owned by KGK, and Thrive Holdings ownership and assets are just the building that's being acquired and the equity in the company. So if there was a situation where this company did go under, uh, JDA would just take the collateral from the building and sue the Daniel and his brother personally. And in terms of the, was this project at risk of happening someplace other than New York City or New York State? Well, according, according to the owners, they were considering moving the operations and they couldn't find a space in Long Island City. Long Island City offers them proximity to New York City. It offers them a gateway to the surrounding um, states. So although he didn't specifically say they were looking to move somewhere else, he did say that this was a very important project to keep in the city. It was their desire to maintain this location in the city. And you mentioned a showroom space in Manhattan and the consolid, you know, the, uh, the project resulting in uh, showroom space in a Long Island City facility. Does that mean that the Manhattan showroom space won't be used anymore? Or? Right. My understanding is that they're going to close that Manhattan showroom space and consolidate everything in this new building. This building, when they finish the renovation, is going to be quite a sight to see. It's going to be operationally efficient. It's really going to be a jewelry type business. So it's going to be the first of its kind outside of, of the 42nd, 47th Street uh, jewelry district. Uh, any other questions or comments from the directors? Any comments from the public? You guys got a pretty big crowd of folks from the public there today. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I would entertain a motion for approval. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Motion carries. Uh, there being no further business, may I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? Motion. Second. Carried. In eight minutes, people. <laughs> <laughs>